Hi guys and welcome again to Smart Prep. Today we are going to be continuing with our MBT preparation, specifically AQL. If you're looking for MBT math preparation, you are in the right place, but just not on the right videos. So subscribe to the channel and then head over to the home page. And uh, I'll also put a link to our MBT maths and MBT AQL playlist, as well as a link to the past papers and recordings, which are on our Smart Prep website. So you can get hold of those as well. Okay, let's continue with our uh, uh, MBT AQL preparation. Before I do, though, just a big thank you to the members. Um, if you want to become a member, you can join our channel below. Um, you guys really help us out. And as you can see, just got a wireless mic. Um, got another one as well down there so that uh, Senzo and I can do some content outside of the studio if we need to. And uh, yeah, uh, also some lighting if you are eagle and eyed enough to notice that. So yeah, we're putting back into the channel and going to keep trying to improve and offer more and more uh, assistance to learners. All right, let's continue with our MBT AQL test. This is section uh, F, which is the final section of the test. Um, if you are new to the channel, um, you can just go and uh, click on the AQL playlist and uh, look at the answers to the first few sections. Um, as I say, yeah, this is the final section, grammar and text relations. Uh, here, what they do is they give you some text and then they delete some of the text and you have to figure out what they've done. Okay, so let's read through it. Uh, that was the, should we despise copycats is the headline. That was the question that Harvard Business Review got Oded Schenkar, a researcher of the use and history of innovations, to answer. And in his reply, uh, and his reply, that copying others' ideas may well be good business, even at times great business. And to him, okay, so... It's going to be tricky to read through that, but it says, and something to him. So this would be according to him, right? Something like that. It happens something often. So this would here be more, right? More often and according to uh, often than people think. In one he reviewed, the researchers looked at dozen, dozens, dozen, at a dozen or dozens innovations. So there's a mistake there, right? and discovered that 34, looks like of them, almost three, that of that of 34 of them, almost three quarters were covered. So we can see mistakes there. The research shows that the rate, the research shows that the rate of imitation, for example, right, looks like a mistake there. Chrysler Motor Corporation, the modern minivan with front wheel drive, a car like you. Okay, so prize and motor caution, the motor with the front wheel drive, a car, something, a car like a unibody in that. So there's a mistake there. Um, it took almost a decade for something car maker to copy it. But after GM introduced spark mini the spark mini car maybe a chinese imitation the qq came out within a year and outsold the original six to one in china maybe buy six to one in fact nearly 98 percent of the value generated by innovations captured not by in the innovators, but by the often overlooked, despised copycats. In fact, nearly. All right, so we can see there's errors in here, and it'll make a lot more sense when we go down and actually find the areas. Um, so now what they do is they give you um, an options. So it makes it a little bit easier, actually, um, just to decide now where is something missing. Okay, so they do show you an example of what to do in the in the paper because um, if you hadn't done this uh, revision, 
you may go this look at this and and um, not know what to do. So they have shown you an example of what to do here. All right. Um, so that was the question that Harvard Business Review got Oded Schenkar, a researcher of the use and history of innovations, to answer. And his reply that copying others' ideas may well be good business, even at times great business. And Okay, now we said, and something to him, right? So the thing would be, and according to him, it something happens often, it, 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 sorry, it happens something often than you think, and we think that it would be then more often than you think, right? So uh, let's go. Uh, so we say that at position B, and there we say, okay, yeah, that was right, right? The word, there's been a word deleted at position B, and the word is according, right? And according to him, yep. Okay, so we would have said that it happens something. And then so there's a position three. We see that, yep, that was true. Um, and we said that it was more and indeed more. Okay, so we know we're on the right track. We've got the example right now. We get to the actual uh, questions. All right. Now answer the following questions in the same way. In, and then so now we're looking at 81, 82, right? In something, in, in, okay, so we've got to kind of ignore the things in bold. So in one something he reviewed, in one something, okay, so we think that there's, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a word missing at two. Reviewed the, Something the researchers looked at dozen innovation. Okay, so we think that. Okay, well, we know that eighty one. There is a word missing at B, and that is going to be um, one something, one study. Yeah, it would be one study he reviewed. In one study he reviewed. Right? In one that would make sense. In one study he reviewed, the researchers looked at dozen innovations and okay, so we think that it's going to be at position three that it's missing and of. Right. Okay, so in one, so 83, researchers looked at, okay, all right, so there's, there's, a, there's a word missing at something dozen, something dozen, so this would be a number, okay, because there's no a dozen, right? So we know that there is a word missing at position three. So 83 would be three. And which has been left out, right? So what makes sense? Recent dozen, must dozen, of does four dozen. Okay. Now we go to 85 and 86. Okay, so now it's, it's a little bit easier to read. Okay, so in one study he reviewed, the researchers looked at four dozen innovations and discovered that 34-something them, almost three quarters were copied. Okay, so, and, and discovered that of, 34 of them. So we think that it's going to be a word missing at four, right? And if we think the number innovations and discover that something that of them, 34 of them, I think it's going to be 34 of them, discovered that 34 of them, almost three copies of, yes. Okay. Of the 34 of them. 
Okay, so let's go and look at the options now. Okay, so we... Okay, so we know the word was of. That made sense. And it was missing at position, was it four? Yep. Four. So it'll be 85 will be four and of. So those are options. So that's good. So it was missing at four and of. Okay, now we go on to a new uh, sentence. All right, the something research. Okay, no, not the something research. The research shows that something that the rate of imitation is accelerating. The research shows that the rate of imitation is accelerating. What is missing there? Um, the research shows that the rate of imitation is accelerating. Okay, so okay, so research was that okay. I think it has to be. So this is not as obvious, but this is going to be research also shows. Okay. So it's a missing a two. That would be the only one that makes sense. Research certain, notwithstanding, clear. No, also is the only thing that makes sense. So the research also shows so that it was missing at uh, number two. And two. Okay, for those of you who are looking at this and, and thinking, wow, this is a little bit tricky. I'm not sure how, do, how would I do this by myself? Um, well, the first thing is um, just do as many past papers as you can, and you get, you get used to doing these. Um, and the other thing is that the questions repeat themselves. So if you do enough of the past papers, as I said, I'll put a link to the past papers, the AQL past papers, um, in the description and in the comments. And um, if you do um, them all, you should find that you'll um, get a lot of the same questions in your final, in your MBT exam. So, yeah, to answer your question, if you are asking it, just keep practicing. All right, um, 89, okay, so now, for example, Chrysler Motor Corporation, something the mint, yeah, so Chrysler Motor, the mint, I would say invent the miniman or something like that. Um, yeah, yeah. Doesn't make sense otherwise. Because Chrysler, Chrysler Motor Corporation, the miniman, the modern minivan, right? What, what the monument? So this would be two, would be the position. And then um, we can say, we even, Ford, we even said that invented made, would make sense, all right? And the others make no sense, so that's good. All right, uh, then, um, okay, Chrysler Motor Corporation invented the modern minivan with front-wheel drive, a car-like unibody, Okay, uh, and a car like. Okay, so see, as soon as as soon as it doesn't make sense, you know, there's a missing word. Modern minivan with front wheel drive, something car like. It probably and a car like anybody, right? Yeah, it's there, right? Okay, so that was that was at B and C. Okay, and lastly, we'll just do 93 and 94. Um, so invented a front-wheel drive and a car-like unibody in 1984. It took almost a decade for 
can't make it to copy it. Okay, so it seems like maybe another car maker to copy it. So we know that there's a word missing at three and another is there. Okay, so um, there are exactly 100 questions. Uh, let me just stop sharing this now. Okay, so in this test, there were 100 questions. Uh, a few of you have asked how many marks is each section out of? And um, the AQL is usually going to be out of 100. Your MBT maths may be out of less, but it's always going to be scaled up to 100. So your MBT AQL, they'll mark out of 100, and your maths, they will also mark out of 100. So, you know, if it's out of 50, they'll just double your, your score to make it a score out of 100. Okay, so I will continue with the last six questions um, in our next video, and then we will probably go on to some maths, or I will go on to another um, MBT AQL uh, question paper. But if you are in a rush and you need to uh, get hold of that stuff, maybe you're writing this Saturday, uh, just go on to our website and the past papers and recordings are all there. And uh, yeah, uh, other uh, members only videos are here too. So yeah, thanks again to our members behind me. Uh, we really appreciate uh, your support. And yeah, hopefully you'll see um, some more good, exciting things happening soon. Um, our sim, we're up to seven and a half thousand subscribers, which is fantastic. Um, and at 10,000, we'll be doing something exciting. So wait up for that and I will uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching.